how many di times did it take me to get to the current version of the Simi Kane, which is version 3. Come along with me on this journey and let's learn about how many prototypes did I have to make to get to this point. It's said one of every three visually impaired individuals will be hit by a car. I've been hit by a car three times. My name is Kevin Crosby, the inventor of the CE cane. The first fully lighted white cane for those visually impaired to help them from being hit by a car. Join me to help me live and 253 million visually impaired people be on this channel. I tell you, when you invent a product, it is not easy. I still remember the first prototype that we made, which was the first one I ever showed to the public with that National Federation for the Blind, which I've already talked about. And if you want to see that, go check out some of the other videos. But th that cane had two flashlights and it just shined at each other. And that's how it created illumination for the tube. And with a one inch tube and it worked it worked but it wasn't practical but i took the same impractical tube and i thought you know how can i make it one flashlight rather than two and i did that so i made it one flashlight and still only had about two hours of battery life use some cellophane put it in the tube and i was prototype two then I'm like, how am I going to continue to develop this product to make it more practical, which is the secret sauce that I was able to find to make version three, which is, which we have a lot of different numbers, which version 3.1 is what went to market in February. Version 3.2 went to market yeah, after the first round of 50 semi canes went out. And then version 3.3, .3, which is the one that we had to pull off of the production line because there were some issues in the electronics. And I tell you, what was frustrating for me was when that failed, I had to realize I'm making a good product. I don't want to sell this product short and risk somebody's life. So I'd rather pull the product now, get the problem fixed, and then bring it back to market. Which, hopefully, by the end of this year, of 2024, we'll have the finished version of the Simi Kane. And I tell you, it's been a journey. It hasn't been easy, but I tell you, it is something... When you are feeling down, you're feeling frustrated, you're losing your patience, take a deep breath and know you can keep moving forward. It just might take a little bit longer. And that's kind of where we're at with Simi Kane. I know a bunch of you have reached out to me, like there's a couple of you with Usher Syndrome Type 2. You know, if you email me and you say, I have Usher Syndrome, I'm going to say, hey, Usher Usher Syndrome brother or sister because I got Usher Syndrome type 2 and I'm going to reach out back to you saying hey I need your patience but I'm going to get there I promise I promise I will get there but it is not easy to invent a product and make it meet the standard of a blind cane we all know a lot of products out there that people are trying to bring forward to the visually impaired too soon and they all crash and fall and i don't want to be one of those products because this is the product that needs to be in the market be here for everybody to have access to so that those visually impaired can be seen from 100 yards away well today's day 29 and we only got one more of the daily videos before the see kane show launches I'm super excited. I've been working really hard on it. I got some amazing guests I'm going to bring in on, and it's going to be fun. Well, like I always say to wrap up all my shows, go live beyond your challenges, and I will see you tomorrow.
subscribe to help the giveaway and see we came to those that can't afford one.